Hi everyone, I'm Mary, and here we start the second season of Underverse. This is going to be Owners and 0.5. Now, while I don't know specifically what we're getting into, I have seen more than five seconds of any of the videos in the series prior, so I know it's going to be pain. Yeah. How is it going to be pain? Who's going to be making the pain? Why am I going to end the video crying like a bitch for some reason? I don't know, but honestly, that last one's kind of a given at this point, so we're just going to roll with it. You guys know the deal. There's a link below to the original video. Hit it up, and let's get started before I check it out. Howdy? Who's speaking? Hmm, what's wrong? Could be ink, because howdy. Oh no, let me guess. Yeah. You don't like what you've done, don't you? This is owner, so... It is owners? It's owners, yeah. You're so stupid? It's a Sans. Which one? Vanilla Sans? No, that's a Frisk. What? That's probably a... Oh, no, they have blood all over them. Are they bleeding? Are they... Some... They killed someone else. Nine million to one. But you finally broke your timeline. Wait, what? Finally broke your timeline. I don't know what all these stars are. Wait. Oh, there's a lot going on here. I missed so much of this. We got the glitch where the stars load failed, say failed restarting, an X. Okay. So they're in the void, maybe? So that's why it looks like load and save failed. So they basically ended the genocide route, Brisk. They forgot. Wait. Oh, no, this is vanilla. Oh, so this isn't just pacifist ending Frisk. So this was... Everyone called him Blue for some reason rather than just Vanilla Sands. But if they forgot is implying Frisk forgot after he went through a genocide route and they defaulted back and he managed to put it into a peaceful timeline. So he literally aborted a genocide run. Catch up. You were one step ahead of them. Thanks to your experience. Made you the owner of this reality. Oh! You could lie to everyone and force them to make decisions in your favor. It wasn't the right thing. Hey! Liar, you didn't want to be alone in this. Wait, you alone? You felt overly responsible. That's why you decided to tell them everything. What did he do? Because if he just reset the world and manipulated it so they didn't have genocide route, that seems like it would be a good thing? Or did he do something else? We've made a promise. Everyone breaks their promises. This is the same boring pattern. You're not an exception. What makes you think you're special? You're going to give up. And this is from the end of the episode where Error in his temper tantrum decide to just destroy everything and Ink is just nonplussed about it. You can't save anyone. I guess these are the intrusive thoughts. Okay, yeah, that is moderately terrifying. I was not expecting that. It's been such a slow build. I just... God, the teeth are huge on this thing. Wait, what was that behind him? Oh, okay, it's the previous episode. It's everyone dying. It's the refresh. Yeah. Swap. Kara. Underverse. Not Underverse. Underfell Sands. I still think Edgy Sands is funnier. And accurate. The knife, the bones, the flower. Wait. You can see the shredded remains of Flowey. I mean, you see Sanskrit. 
he can also use the determination knife. That, oh. So he's literally one who fixed his own timeline, and he has determination. Because there was no one else there to do that. Personally apologize. Experiment has caused? Wait, what? I will take care of fixing everything myself. A bright future for everyone is looming. I do feel sorry for you. Okay, so he's still in his fucked up state. This is prior to episode 0.4's conclusion. This is probably one of those aspects where he was making messages to everyone because he was never sealed away. He was just in bad shape and letting Kara, letting Sa so I was going to say Arasans. Well, technically, he's letting Arasans run wild too. He's just letting everyone do their own thing for his experiment. I saw a few other clips of these. What the face reality? Wait. Is that an error between them? No, he's glitching in. It's kind of weird how he has so much more color on the outlines here. And then without it... And this is what he looked like in the very first episode of Exhale in the suit. Change the inevitable. Because he was seeing snippets of the future and basing decisions on that. And we still don't know what future he saw that was so enticing and forbidden that he did all of this shit. What do you mean? You know it very well. Scissors beats paper. <laughs> Dared go as far as I did. Not even you. What? I am so unwelcomed here. Oh, no! That was... So if this is ex-Gaster, that's maybe regular Gaster? No, he doesn't look fucked up enough. Huh. Is he talking to a crossover counterpart of himself or himself in the past? Who cares about the consequences of my actions? That is a weird thing to throw in there. How long ago did this come out? Three years ago? So this did come out after x was done. It just, x almost felt like the ending was Gaster did understand there were going to be consequences. And this one is, I don't care about it. That's a, maybe the change in vision overall, or maybe I just misread it. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, I like that intro song. Dude, a lot more background to the city. Not just buildings, but other structures. We got a frisk looking at a... Okay, I see Gaster. He's making unique monsters. No, that's... That's an X-Flowy, isn't it? Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, dude. Too hard. So really, Frisk is going to be the main character on this one. Going through everyone from the X-Tail timelines. There's Cross. So is this going to be the previous timeline where the Frisk who did do the genocide route and got stopped is coming in? Genome or error. Fatal error? Wait, what? I was told I needed to be aware that he's a thing, but I don't... What the hell is going on here? I thought maybe it was just an error I had to find out about him. Also, holy shit. Just in terms of animation already. I mean, the first season of x looks good. Well, I guess the only season of x looks good. The first season of Underverse looks good. This is... This is really damn clean, man. So we just have these two staring off. It almost feels like... Yeah. There's vanilla-ish... Sands. I wonder if that initial world is going to become more of a thing. So 
he told everyone? Wait, what? Uh, that was not something I was expecting. Sword and Shield Adult Kara. The only adult Kara we've seen so far was all the times Cross's head companion did it. So there was no other versions of Kara that aged. So that is him. I was not expecting him to stand on Frisk's side. Because everything that... But this is a Frisk that still has her soul. His, his Frisk is absolutely broken. And a reference to all the destroyed worlds at the end of Season 1. What are the sides going to be on this thing? Ooh. Love that. So much color depth. Hey, Sense? Where the hell have you been? Is he just dropped back in? Goodness, brother, what happened to you? <laughs> I need a reason for a papyrus. The match was postponed. You were gone for hours. Hours? <laughs> hours? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is him after the fight. This is in a dream. His clothing's all destroyed. Hours. Time is a bitch. Uh, a dog was trying to bury me alive in the playground. Good bones. Again? It's the third time this month. On the one hand, if that actually happened with a dog, funny. If he's used that excuse to cover other things, what the hell has he been doing? The broken chain. How odd. It's not rainy season yet. Because he's the owner of this reality, he's basically the gaster of it. Or the ex-gaster of it. Okay, can I just appreciate for a second? Just the background detail here is so intense. There are multiple levels of detail here. There's the background, there's the middle ground with the car, which admittedly is really detailed for something that's just in there for a shot that blurs out. We have the window pane and the glass, and then we have the reflection from the glass. So we have functionally three different layers, four if you want to consider the things in f or behind the car itself, although they're probably on the same pane. That is a lot of detail just to pull back from the shot to give you the image. This is... Like, before, it was really good. This is at the quality level I expect for a cartoon. Not, or... Honestly, I'd say anime, but the style is, yeah, it's close enough. It, like, maybe not the high-end Studio Madhouse level, but something that I'm going to watch and I'm not going to feel like they cheaped out on the budget. This is insanely good. It's all torn and full of dust. Wait, dust? It's too old anyway. <laughs> he literally threw it in the fire! And <laughs> she's all okay with it. Chris got a great idea, Sans. There are some clothes in the wardrobe we could lend you. Something in your size. Because he talked to Frisk before he left, so Frisk knows what's up with this one. Ah. Uh... Check them out. <coughs> Sounds good. Let's go. And lock it. New wardrobe? Oh, yeah. Fur collar. I'm sorry, I know he's not cross, but for a second it's like, wait, fur collar? And it just threw me off. It's not, obviously, but... Happy you came back safe, sounds. Yeah, safe is a word. <laughs> a lot of crazy stuff out there. Phew. <laughs> it was hell. <laughs> not as different as what you did here. Not gonna lie, kid. I feel like a fool. Kinda relieved, though. I don't need to pretend all of this matters to me anymore. You can't change anything with stupid promises. In the end, we'll always be trapped in this cycle. Because he's broken after the last one, so his own personal faith that his promises would carry on is broken because he just watched all of the promises between error 
and ink the promises ink made to them not to be an asshole even if it was just implied because he was using them so there's that sense of betrayal he's basically acting under the idea of if you're all gonna fuck me over well fuck it i'm gonna do what i need to because i don't trust y'all anymore guess the flower was right you're the one who chose to go out there by yourself and get traumatized trust ain't wrong I offered my help, but you ignored me. Because they didn't trust you. We only have control over this timeline. Everyone else's business is not our concern. Oh? Oh, so it's not just Sans being the owner. It's Sans is the owner, but Kara also still has power. Sorry, not Kara. Frisk. And they do have complete control over the timeline. That is... Impressive? That's the point, kid. There's nothing left, and now he's after us. Is he, though? He's going to take care of the dirty work. Error or something else? Our new owner. I just realized what error, ah, not even error. The talk about owners, it's all about how, how there's so much of a meta narrative in the overall setting. It's like, okay, here's the save loads files. So when you pull up the system, you pull up the cards, you are basically owning that copy of the game, that version of the creative work. So when you have a new owner, you have literally someone who owns the game. God, the meta narrative is actually really well established in here. I like how it's being worked in, in terms just like owner, save, restart. It's just silly, but it does work. Uh, I'm still not sure if he's talking to Gaster or Error about this. I think he means Gaster, but he could also just mean Error, because I'm not sure at what point he wasn't conscious anymore. Hmm. You're... Everything you got to know about Cross. Detail, confrontation, destruction of the multiverse. Some of it. They did show that there was so much more than just what they saw. Nearly infinite. Ominous man who brought him back home. More dangerous power than reset. So that was Gaster talking to him about fixing it. So he is probably talking about Gaster as the owner for more answers. You'll have to ask him yourself. Sans went to Gribbley's. Oh, okay. So we've actually switched off perspectives. Earlier on, he was talking about Sans told Frisk about everything's going on. And I thought everything was happening from Sans's perspective, such as how in X-Tale, everything was written from, Ga or, sorry, X-Gaster's perspective in his notes that we were reading out. So the one time it was given over to Alphys, it was her notes that were being read off at the screen. But if we're talking about Sans went to Gribbley's, this is someone else's thoughts, not Sans's, because he'd be talking about being a Gribbley's instead. So we've transferred over to Frisk. Oh. And that is kind of like the intro showed. We're switching off main focus characters. An overwrite button. Jeez. Multiverse is certainly ridiculous. Oh, that's Kara. Sorry, I got so used to having Kara being the white haired one. It actually took me a second to recognize that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry, that's actually kind of silly. Uh, and is our universe the only one left? No. No, that's... Sans might not have got that aspect or understood it or cared because of all the destruction. But it was heavily implied by Ink that he didn't care about what was destroyed because it is literally infinite. Maybe that's good. Just imagine the bunch of alternate junk that thought was unique and special. This is not about who deserves to coexist. It's about something unknown and allegedly dangerous that will come to fuck you up.
Oh, uh, what was... The colors are bleeding out into purple. So is that their imagination, or is this actually a visible effect of Gaster being the new owner? We can't underestimate him, much less give him our trust. Good, you are already aware of it. Sans is undoubtedly an excellent messenger. <sighs> Pleasure to meet you, Kira. You can call me ex Gaster. And that was him taking over in a visible effect to show his entrance before we actually saw him. Well done. Your timeline became very special after that incident. Oh, that's new! Was the digital fall-off effect there already, or did that exist before? I don't recognize that. That's brand new. Ooh, that's cool. Let me tell you, no one else in the multiverse can understand. How valuable this place and your fascinating traits are. I have come to taste your true power. What? Player is a very unique word that has more meta knowledge than I was even aware that was in this game beforehand. All your questions will finally be answered. Like he's holding the heart. Those are not your true intentions. Probably not. You better leave my world now. Can he force it? Ignorance is always afraid of change. No, no, I think in this case they're more afraid of you because a lack of ignorance. They know just enough to know you should be someone avoided. Don't be afraid of my offer. Yes, be terrified. What's up, you freak? <laughs> oh, determination mode. Put your foolishness aside for a moment. I just realized something very disturbing about this that makes it creepier. Between x -Tale and the first season, his skull style did change. The eyes don't have any socket in them. It's just the darkness. But his mouth, even though it's mostly a generic cut-through... Where before, when it was really freaky, it was very uneven. This time, though, it's very even. He almost has canines or fangs to show where the mouth is broken in such a way. And the actual breaks are then uniform and symmetrical, unlike before. So it isn't tears in the face. It's intentionally giving him a fanged, sharpened tooth mouth. He's given himself a more vampire-esque vibe. Granted, he is kind of just sucking out the soul of worlds with what he's done already. But it's a different way to portray his art style than the first season or x -Tale. <laughs> The boundaries which rule over all of us will be eradicated. Like your legs. I'll make you... Take you to absolute perfection? No, 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 no. I will not negotiate my world with you. Can you stop it? I'm determined to persuade you. Even the hard way. Both eyes are red. Oh, joy. Because he has determination from the... Perfection or failure. There is no end. Is that the setting sun? The right... Or is that the world on fire after x -Gaster did his thing? Why are they all listening to him? Probably mind control. Their frisk is broken. You see his eyes now. Ink. Getting emotions back. The plot thickens! How exciting! And he just drained all the extra bottles of emotion so he can emote more. <laughs> Everyone is really upset. <laughs> and that right there shows just how skin deep everything is. He comes off so much nicer, and I know he's been portrayed in a lot of other media that way, but at least in this version of Ink, how he's being portrayed in Underverse, it's very much... 
he wants to feel the emotions, but also with the exception of when he was emotionless talking about regrets and doing something so he wouldn't regret it. That seemed like a true emotion despite not having it at the moment. Here, though, just saying like, oh, everyone's really going to be upset about us because we did all these horrible things and everyone's dead. <laughs> I mean, yeah, error killed a lot of the world. But frankly, we only stopped him after he did it because we didn't care enough. Oops. It does show that he doesn't really care. He's very much a sociopath on his own right. He feels emotions that he takes for himself and doesn't give a damn about the rest. It's very selfish. With the exception about talking about his regret. That is the only question I have left about his character. What was he talking about there? Or is that just a plot hole that never gets brought up? That would suck if that's a plot hole. <laughs> Which part of my act was your favorite? <laughs> I have to admit that I can't stop them by myself. <laughs> do you think that is fair to do? <laughs> the same thing. But, uh, <laughs> dang. I forgot most of what I said from the very first episode where he was trying to recruit other Sands. So, what's phase three about? You never told me, by the way. Where are you gonna start? I'm sure it'll be a blast. What's he gonna do today? Do not rush me. Can't help it, pal. I'm really excited. Adult car. Hey, Kara! You sure grew up! Nice look! This one, I was taller than you, though. And he's so broken, he's just going along with it to end the pain. I didn't change your body for nothing, Kara. Behave like the adult you're supposed to be now. Just look at your poor little brother. He is so disappointed in you. And his eyes are all the way Black Scalera. So that is very much genocide route version of him. Because he was probably edited. That explains why he's working with him. That's weird. I don't remember him showing it the first time. You did a good job either way. I had a lot of fun with you out there. Out there with you. So, the human refused to play with us. What's well, plan B? Probably wasn't even part of plan B. What? There is no such thing as plan B. He's enjoying giving them the choice. They just gave me a good reason to work in complete confidence. Civilized conversations are pointless. A world with such inequality cannot be shared with the ignorant. Oh, that's why they all have a bit of the pink in them. They all have a bit of Gaster's soul because it's not them. That's why they're all listening to him, even though at the end of x -Tale, they all killed him as soon as they knew exactly what was going on. Or, well, they struck back. He literally dropped a bit of himself in there. That's why they have those eyes. So either he overwrote them, but he doesn't have the visible markings, which we saw before. Or he did what he did to Kara and put a bit of himself in there so they have his mind. At least a small portion of it. It's also why their words are tinged pink and purple. Eh, I guess it's more purple, just really light. So he's literally not amongst a group. He's just within multiple bodies. Otherwise, it will never be something perfect. Because we already know, if given the choice, they would just kill him. Hers is darker than the rest. Hers is lighter. I wonder if that's important. No one's stopping us. The resources of these universe will be a waste no more. Only those who are truly worth it. Okay, I gotta say right now, just that, that is gonna get very annoying really fast. It, maybe it's just because I'm wearing headphones, but the electronic tone actually is really loud on the headphones. That is actually painful. Ow. I hope he doesn't have any lines with that effect. I mean, the art looks awesome, but yeah, the sound is going to be annoying. <laughs> this is the match point for eternity. This is reality. And Ink is throwing up to break the scene. I didn't get it, but that was so cool. 
Huh? What's written here? Uh-oh. I almost forgot. What? I see a present? A box? It looks like a banana and a toilet? No, those are some... Okay, no, no, no. That's fresh. That's his face upside down with a present. So fresh... That means if he just doodled that on there right now, he literally waltzed in while the man who can override reality and has all those viewpoints literally looking around him. At some point, Fresh just waltzed in, graffitied on ink so he could read it. Yeah, I think my first impression of Fresh is definitely true. He is way more powerful than everyone else so far. He's just having fun, though. Can I ask you a favor? What? A present? Fresh was asking for a present, okay. <laughs> Is there anything you can't do? Yeah, it's gonna be a busy day today. Yeah, there's something he can't do. Make a good story on his own without ripping everything else off and torturing everyone. Because he initially didn't have the creativity to do his own work, which is what started this entire process. And that's why he's even more heartless than before. Because he kept going the Voldemort route. And every time he moved his soul into someone else, there was less in himself. And now that everyone behind him has a bit of him in them, he is so much less. That's why he feels different. And maybe why his legs aren't there. Well, I'm not sure about that one. Not literally, though. Let's go, Broomy. You coward. Didn't override him yet. You only brought us back to stand up for you. The proper term is to make yourselves useful. For example, you are here to entertain me. Your consciousness remains attacked because I find your frustration enjoyable. Now let's... Now let's your... Let's let your teammates do their job, shall we? He's putting on the act for Kara, then. To make himself the villain? Because even at the end of 04, he didn't sound like that. He was actually fixing some of the things Kara changed, not destroying worlds. Is this the degradation of his soul, or is it an act he's putting on? Hmm. We're live? What? Oh! Minotaur's passionate kitchen partner. Oh my god. Oh god, he's a streamer. Just because you asked me for it, here we are at Muffet's famous bakery. Wait, what, what was the face you made? Oh no, she's just blinking all her eyes in sequence. Electric donut. Ex oh, eccentric donuts. I don't know why I read electric. What are they actually made of? I'm not going to judge you. Oh god, the face. Sorry, I, I just want to see the face right there. Maybe said it's gross. It's okay, be fine. Gross. And she's just completely nonplussed back. There's like, fucker. <laughs> That's why we're working together to bake something exclusive for the audience, right? She is so smug back there. I want my 90,000 G first, then I'll promote your junk. Darling, my fans will pay anything for this crossover. You'll never have to worry about a penny. Just follow the script and that's all. Okay. Seriously. How come the random extras in the background have that much detail put into them? Also, their lines are more solo than his. Maybe just because they're background characters, so they're in a different focus. Oh, it's because there's more glow on him. How about I add a new ingredient to our piece of your metallic no signal? Uh-oh. The camera shut down. No, oh, no, please. Oh, crap. You know, any camera that expensive is probably around the loss of you can't afford that. I'm this close to losing my patience. Fix this however you can. 
You have 10 seconds to leave my bakery. The boss, there's nothing we can do. Can't we continue tomorrow? Now the power and the earthquake and the oh shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, it's a. <laughs> Everything about the scene. It's like you see him. Did they just copy over as Gorio onto him right here? I think they did. And then just Papyrus freaking out in the background and <laughs> she's choking Elphus. <laughs> she's so worried she's choking Elphus. <laughs> it shouldn't be silly, but this is actually hilarious to me. <laughs> and he's overriding the reality. In one swell. Swift. Oh no, he's not overriding, he's just destroying. No, it's everyone else taking all the murder. I knew I just get my work today. Yeah. You damn monsters, I knew you were evil. Go to hell. Don't worry, you're already there. Boss, look. Oh, he's actually just murdering people. Like, visibly. And taking their heart, Eating their hearts. This is not enough. Ooh. All those souls are going to make you sick, General. Wait. Oh! So they're currently in charge of their own th souls right now. Because their words are back to being white so it's their own thoughts it's their own soul without gaster's influence so he's basically letting them run their personality right now when they're out of kara's view i need more energy if we want to cleanse this world faster why though i mean it's already been proven gaster can do all this kind of shit with his current power he did fix a bunch of worlds that were had, like completely fucked up timeline wise. They don't need to destroy because he's making a statement to make himself the villain for some reason, which is why he isn't immediately going to the power he already has to fuck shit up. Why though? Overpopulation is what actually makes me sick. And we saw the eyes giving the thought. Two minutes. Muffet, is that spider over there your sister or something? Of course not. <laughs> Alright then, seek shelter now. I'll take care of this. Are you serious? Can he find on trying to this guy? Are we running out of running out of ideas? <laughs> oh! Teleporting bombs. Wait. What was that? This is, I'm not sure if this is just a thing left in for anything, but it looks like there's strings on her. Eh, it's probably an editing issue. Wait, was there a face in the explosion? No, it just happened to look like that for a second. Dude, this is actually really cool. Alphys, hello, darling. Maton, are you okay? No! We're evacuating. Many houses were badly damaged by the earthquake. Papyrus is convertible. Have you been posting blueprints on it? What? No! Uh, somebody is trying to sabotage my brand. <laughs> also, I need to figure out why there's a Muffet doppelganger here. What are you talking about? Oh. Frisk knows. Darling, I'll call you back later. The city is under attack. They're killing people. Wait, Metaton! Meta! What are you waiting for? I told you to leave. That's what we're trying to do, boss? Because this is the version of Metaton, or sorry, X Metaton, who has the fuck you blade. Yeah. Oh, well, what a coincidence. Didn't expect to find our counterparts in this place. I do understand your concern. The fact that there's another you is a threat to that sense of uniqueness. 
Russell. I promise one of us will remain. Please forgive me. And there's the purple words again, overriding what's probably white show and the purple eye as well. So yeah, there's the gastrosol controlling it. <sighs> Covering his mouth. Oh yeah, now she's, and it won't be you help us. So they're trying to fight back in their own way. They're not just soulless puppets. I actually wasn't entirely sure of that, how much of that was really them. And just, if it was an act Excaster was putting on it. Honestly, this is better or worse. I don't actually know. So they're still in there. On the downside, they're still in there. What? Damn. Okay, so yeah. In terms of sheer, this is well animated. This is well animated. But just compared to the season finale of 0 0.4, this is already well more advanced. A lot of the first season was stickman style fighting where you had a very flat plane and you were doing some admittedly amazing animations on that plane. Here though, we're going full 3D and seeing everything jumping around in multiple angles and divisions. So it's not just side looks, it's flat in your face with things spinning around. I don't, this is freaking insane. We're even looking at the camera as a way to show how the shots are progressing. A lot actually, this scene is very much that. Just with a kick, god damn. <laughs> A whip. Oh my. Time stop? No. What? I've always wanted a pet. Oh, there goes the arm. Un. Can't run. And they're all caught. And he probably just killed them, unless someone got in the way. No, further corruption because the pink is spreading. Or I guess purple? It's really light. What the hell is going on? Yeah, you got that one. Hell. The city. No. He was right. Metaton. Please answer. Not magic. Something heavy is expanding around. Oh, they can sense Gaster's presence. Just go there. This is an emergency. Monsters and humans are in danger. As an ambassador, I can't just stay there. You're not coming alone for a second. I can use my expertise to assist you. I'm going to. We gotta save our people. This city will collapse if we don't hurry. Let's get going. I don't have a feeling they're all about to die. He's a shortcut? Of course. What does he consider a shortcut? Your decisions are quite interesting, player. This only makes my job easier. God damn! I'm just... Sorry. Rapid hair movements. Even if it's just a few shifting phases right here. Oh, there's actually... One, two, three, four... There's at least four or five distinct images used for the shaking of the hair. And then if the lines behind us, you see this. Sorry, this is some of the animations that a lot of places I know don't bother. And I mean that as official animations, both in anime and cartoons, where if they're doing a shot like this, they'll have the scenes rushing past and they'll just have the hair stuck behind it like it's some kind of helmet. Or basically anyone using hairspray in the 80s. But just, I, there's so much more motion. Of this it feels as if you're almost an extension of me. Oh, that was Gaster's hands on his head. Considering he put a bit of his soul in there. Fries? Oh, it's Sands. Thought that was someone else for a second. Because he's having his breakdown, knowing it can't be changed. Because he gave up.
Is this the ending credits or something else? It's the ending credits. <sighs> and it's all the broken worlds that are still there. Huh. Okay, so that just happened. And this is a full-on assault of the initial world that Sans came from, from the very start of Underverse. But it's also showing that this is not canon Underverse. This is a slight timeline alteration of the initial one. And that's also probably why he chose the player route as well. So it's either, it's probably the initial one and being treated like the initial one, not just a random alternate timeline. Because it's them controlling the timeline of the initial world itself. Where Sans actually managed to win. Ugh. And then there's just, there's so much going on right now. I I don't know nearly enough to figure out what's going on. But at the same time, I really want to figure this out. There's so much. And Gaster himself is not engaging, so he has part of the plan. And just antagonizing everyone and being over-the-top evil, it very much feels like he's playing a role. And that's why he was controlling people to get the exact lines down. And, and then Fresh is doing something on the side. And he's aware of what's going on. Honestly, he just doesn't seem to care. But he's also not actively making it worse. Which Ink was doing, and Error was playing along with, although unwittingly he probably wouldn't care because it led to more destruction by unleashing it. I just... There are so many sides going on. They're just trying to figure out what's going on because everything in the first half was a lie and we're trying to figure out what isn't. This is really damn complicated and I kind of love this because it shows that there's so much more thought put into this. And people are saying various things, giving you nods that what is being said isn't quite there. And by nod, I mean specifically when Muffet and Metaton, the X versions, had the underlying text or the overwritten text where they were trying to say sorry and help us because they're being forced to be the monsters. I just, this is... It's good because you know this is planned for. That there is double speak, that people are lying. It's giving the audience, giving us a way to see that immediately, to know all is not what it seems. But also, god damn, man, there's probably gonna be a scene coming up where it's like, hey, here's the remnants of their body. I'll destroy them as soon as you get here to fuck you over more. Because that's the kind of thing I'm expecting at this point, just to drive the feels home, both for us as the audience and the player. The fact that he's specifically choosing the word player, though, that means more meta knowledge than I thought individual people would be aware of, but sure, why not? Unless it means something else as well. Basically, what I'm saying is if you haven't already, there's a link below to the original videos. Hit them up. This was insane and I can't wait for the rest. But I will because I actually need to adult. And by adult, I mean go to bed. I did not realize how late it was. My door's open. And the lights are off in the hall, so I am probably keeping my wife awake right now. I am in trouble. Crap baskets. Oops. So I'm going to be very quiet, and hopefully maybe she's asleep and very deep into it, even though she doesn't sleep deeply. Oh, I am so dead. Yeah, I'm definitely buying cheese pizza tomorrow as a bribe. So you guys know the deal. There's a link below to the original video. Wish me luck. I'm going to need it, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios.